In this video, we are going to write a really cool dmenu script to connect to Wi-Fi and I'm also going to show you that how you can connect to Wi-Fi from your Linux terminal, you know, without any script. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to use NMCLI. So this stands for Network Manager CLI. And if you ever installed Arch by yourself, you know, Network Manager is a program which manage all your network related stuff, uh, which means internet related stuff. Uh, yeah, there are several other tools you can use to connect to Wi-Fi and I'm going to use NMCLI so NMCLI device Wi-Fi list all right so when I press uh, you know run this it's going to give me a cool, nice little uh, you know uh, this list which is showing all the Wi-Fi's around me and now what I can do is I can pipe this into said minus n and then uh, do not print first line so one not print all right and this is just going to remove the header so this header is removed and now what I can do is I don't want all this you know uh, these blank spaces so what I can do is I can pipe this into into what oh fuck I forgot oh yeah so I can pipe this into cut command so cut minus b for bytes and then 9 minus all right so 9 minus means basically just remove 9 uh, bytes from you know front of every line so if I press enter and just wait for a second hope it's going to work fine so yeah it just removed the, those nine lines and next thing what I am going to do is I am going to pipe this into D menu so D menu is a cool little command you can also use Rofi or fuzzy finder if you want so next we are I'm going to pass this prompt so uh, like select Wi-Fi and then I'm also going to give a list view so there is a list view in D menu and uh, if I press enter it's going to give me a list so let's just wait for a second all right so I'm getting this cute little list and when I press enter it's just going to you know print whatever I selected now I want this uh, BSSID so it's like a MAC address I guess it is a MAC address I don't know much all right so this is SSID and uh, you can either have SSID or this BSSID but I prefer having BSSID because a lot of Wi-Fi's don't have SSID right now all the Wi-Fi's have SSID but sometimes you don't get any SSID or you get some blank hyphens here so you don't want that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cut command again we delimiter space and first field all right for first field minus f1 and when I press enter uh, and you know it's going to give me the those that list all right so list is getting shorter and shorter but that's not the issue when I press enter it's going to give me this uh, BSSID and what I can do is I can just make a variable so bssid is equal to so this is how i'm going to store my bssid so again select it and now bssid is in um, bssid variable all right so this is what i want and now the next thing i want is simply the password so to get the password i can simply just you know echo nothing into d menu prompt enter password and after that i can you know i can do nothing so like for example if i type any password it's just going to print and what i can do is i can make a variable and password so this is like my variable and again press enter and type something press enter and now the password in the variable all right so echo pass and this is how things are going to work now i have the bssid i have the password so to connect to wi-fi from terminal what you have to do is you have to first type nmcli and then you have to type device uh, wi-fi connect and after that you have to either write bssid or you have to type the ssid so bssid is going to be something long which i just showed you so like a mac address and uh, usually people don't remember that thing so I'm going to write my SSID so you so I guess this is my SSID and now I have to type this password so first I will type password and then I will type my password so you I'm not going to type my password I'm just going to tell you that after this when you you know type your password and press enter it's just going to work and in my case I'm not going to get connected with the internet because I typed the wrong password but in your case when you type the right password you will get a you know 
good connection established kind of stuff all right so yeah it doesn't work because you know uh, something went wrong all right so things failed so now i'm going to show you one of my scripts so local bin vim wi-fi so this is my script and how this work is first i'm storing pss id then i'm storing the password and then i'm just connecting to wi-fi now this is a very minimal script you can have some notifications you can have some error messages you can you know expand this but uh, it's going to work it's going to save your time in case if you have trouble remembering all the all these commands or you just forget these commands you can just run the script have the script and you know run it so to run it i have bind this with super you know w and you can see as i told you that sometimes you don't get ssid so this is what i'm you know getting some hyphens here so you are going to get this cool little list cool little list and so i can just you know press enter and then it's going to ask me for the password so when i enter my password and press enter it's just going to work fine and uh, that's just you know cool so uh thanks for watching this video hey she want to twist my knob head it for the top limping with the walk that boy such a odd he move like a rock always on the job but i still get crossed puffing on the moss then i'm then i'm then i'm Skipping out at midnight, wanna live life, that motherfucker's boring, snoring. Who the fuck be sleeping? I got daydreams that I'm off like a foreign torn.